Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Today, I'm going to be talking about the absolute value function. This is our second day of functions class. Okay, so what is the absolute value function? The absolute value function, just a quick review as to what it is, it is this parent function over here, and it describes the distance or magnitude of the number x from the origin. So the absolute value measures the distance from zero. So for example, over all, all over this part, it, it just looks the same as y equals to x, right? Because the distance from any positive number to zero is just that number. However, the difference between that a negative number and zero is the positive version of that number. So for example, here we have negative one, one, right? Because what's the distance of between negative one and zero? Well, one, right? There's distance of one there or the distance between negative two and zero. Well, that would be positive two. Here's a few more examples. The absolute value of three is just three, right? The absolute value of negative two would be positive two, right? You could add two to that to get zero. And the absolute value of negative three is three, right? So whatever is in the absolute value bar, so the distance from that part, the, from that number to zero is the answer. Let's move on to example two. Example two says to find the absolute value of negative two minus four plus two over the absolute value of four. So the absolute value of negative two minus four is the absolute value of negative six. The absolute value of negative six would be positive six. The absolute value of four is just four. So the overall answer is also four. Very good. Okay, let's review the uh, absolute value notation. How would we express something that is uh, less than or equal to negative 2, but greater than or equal to positive 2? So I'm going to draw a number line and show where that would be. So here we have 0, 1, 2, 1, negative 1, negative 2. Okay, so we want the numbers where x is less than or equal to negative 2. So all of these numbers are included. I'm going to highlight it, actually. All of these numbers are included. And then we also want the numbers where x is greater than or equal to 2. So we also want all of these numbers. So it looks like either way, the distance, right, the distance from 0 must be greater than or equal to 2, which means the absolute value of x must be greater than or equal to 2, because in all of the parts that I shaded, all the purple parts, the distance from uh, any part on the purple, you know, any of those highlighted parts, any part of the purple is either 2 or greater than 2, right? Anything that's less than a distance of 2 from 0 is not shaded in purple. Okay. How about this one here? This one says x is between negative 5 and 5. So here's 0, here's negative 5, and here's 5. So in this case, I'm going to shade purple, or I'll just do pink actually, from 5 to negative 5 like that. And it does include those numbers, right? So in this case, the absolute value of x would have to be less than or equal to Five, right? Because the distance throughout the entire part I highlighted, the entire pink line, is going to be either 5 as a distance to, from the point to 0 or less than that, the places that are even closer to 0 than 5 and negative 5. Very good. Okay, now let's graph on the number line. It says absolute value of x is greater than 4. So that means the distance from 0 must be greater than 4. So therefore, it would be everything over here and everything over here would be included, right? Because the absolute value, the distance from 0, must be greater than 4. So that can't include 4. So I drew, um, you know, I drew holes on 4 and negative 4 themselves because that's the boundary, but that boundary is not actually included. But everything even slightly greater than 4 uh, you know, or slightly less than negative 4 is going to be at a larger distance than 4 from 0. Good. 
Okay. Now let's do the next one over here. Here we have x, uh, the absolute value of x is less than or equal to 5. So in this case, let's draw 0, negative 5, and 5. And the distance from 0 must be less than 5, right? So there we go. So that means it must be on this highlighted line here, right? Because the distance from 0 must be less than or equal to 5. And anywhere between 5 and negative 5, that is true. That is the case. Very good. All right, um, let's move on to some graphing, okay? So let's just kind of review uh, how we would graph the absolute value function. So we need to basically use the transformations to graph these functions. So in this case, what does this transformation mean again? Well, this transformation means that we're going to go right to. We're going to shift right to. So therefore, we're going to start our absolute value right there after shifting right to. We're going to go up like that. And we're going to go up ooh, 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 like that. There we go. There we have it. Okay. Now what about this one? This one we're going to shift up to. So it's going to be the absolute value function, but we're going to shift up by 2. So we're going to start here, and then we'll draw our absolute value function as is. Good. And then for this one, what do we do? Well, first we need to um, factor and say that this is the same thing as 3x minus 2, right? And therefore, we're going to be doing a vertical stretch by 3. And then we're going to shift right by 2. So we're going to shift right by 2. Then we'll do our vertical stretch like that. Awesome. So that's just a quick review of the absolute value parent function and a couple transformations. Now, if transformation is something that you know, you're not as familiar with or that you don't really remember as well from the grade 11 course, I actually do have an entire lecture on that from grade 11 that I'll be happy to share with you if uh, that is something you'd like. Um, but yeah, we will, we will discuss it, I think, in a few weeks again. But do know that it is something that uh, was already talked about in the grade 11 class. So that's definitely something to review for sure if it's not something that you're familiar with. Awesome. All right. Well, that is it for the absolute value today. Good work today, everyone. And we'll see you next day. Bye, everyone.